So, what do you guys think of Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? I don't know, you know, from a personal perspective. I've never met Mike Tyson. I've never been a pro boxer. But, you know, I've learned. I, I was a school wrestler at seven years old and, and wrestled in, up through middle school. And then my cousins were were state champions, two of them. And the other one was uh, made to state. And now they're PE coaches, football coaches and stuff, and high schools. And PE teacher, one is a PE teacher, one's just a coach. But um, I've met a lot of uh, guys, you know, and doing, you know, some of them were wrestlers. I met a backyard fighter. It was 149 fights and zero losses when I was in Hollywood <laughs> and um, working at a labor hall. And because uh, it was, they stopped them from fighting because it was terrorism, because people were dying in the matches and stuff. So they stopped the promoters. They arrested the, all the promoters uh, for uh, terrorism, domestic terrorism. And uh, but he he made it through a lot of fights without losing. His name was Abe. I call him Honest Abe. Big guy, you know. It was like six three, I think. But his mu he had just like, muscles everywhere. They weren't bodybuilder muscles. They were fight, fighter mus muscles, you know. So he, he's one of the guys I've met that was doing something professional. But then I, I've met a guy that was 15 years in the military uh, as airborne when I was going to college in, in my 40s. I'm 52. And um, going on 53 in July. But I, I mean, you know, I, I did a little bit of kickboxing. I was getting ready to be a kickboxer. In Sacramento, the a, a world champion kickboxer guy had a school there. But then I, I decided to do the private investigator training and got my mind off all every going. And I didn't go to classes. And there, it, just met one of the kickboxers, and he said they'd probably pay me to spar. I could take classes. Just got to show up. Showed up, checked it out, and got in, met one of the teachers, instructors. That's about it, as far as I got. But then, uh, you know, I met a lot of combat professionals. While I was in the military, I met combat professionals. When I was out, I met a lot of vets. I know there's like, you know, there's 3 million active, and there's almost 30 million vets that are professional combat professionals in the country. You got all kinds of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine boxers. It's very political, you know. The rules, how they can win, you know. I mean, they keep track. They're real serious about who gets to win, you know, um, how fair things are, whether, you know, who gets money. Because they're all paid the same amount of money if they're going to win any more money in the boxing and all that stuff. You know, it's their sport. They spent thousands and thousands of hours. And there's Olympic boxers, you know, all that stuff. So they watch and make sure, you know, they can't be on steroids. They can't, do, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then you got, oh, there's all kinds of other boxer leagues. And then you got over 300,000 school wrestlers a year. And if you go back to, you know, how many people are live right now, you might go back to the 60s or whatever of school wrestlers where there's been 300,000 every year and more now now there's like it's a record high wrestlers there's a lot of people wanting to school wrestle and a lot of girls even now and um, a lot of those school wrestlers learn the grappling or the jujitsu or, or you know judo stuff like that or they might learn other wrestling or they might learn martial arts I met a martial artist he had six black belts and his gold medal in, in the school wrestling stuff. Some, like, uh, one of the other, not the school league, but another league. You know, like, they have different leagues for wrestling, so. Um, 
and then you got all the college wrestlers, college boxers, college martial artists. You got state champion wrestle, uh, martial artists in every state because they have martial arts tournaments in every state. And so you got um, state champions, national champions. This guy Polson, he's not even a heavyweight. Is an upcoming. There was another guy that's a heavyweight. He did the same thing this guy's doing, but he had made it national champion, state champion every year, and then he was Olympic champion at the school wrestling, and then now he's an instructor. I don't know if he went on to so um, and teaches like different kinds of martial arts wrestling plus the regular school wrestling um, but he's undefeated he just never I mean he just won all his since he was a child all the way uh, through the Olympics and this Polson kid did the same thing Ever since he was a little kid, but he was wrestling heavier guys. So this, I'm just the, the reason I'm showing is the kind of athletes that are in our country. Paulson. Oh, Poland, not Polson. Watch this kid. My life be like. This is when he was a kid. My He's life now be like. graduated. Four times state champion, five times national champion. So this kid, Poland, I keep saying Poland. Okay, now he's on the roster at a college. He went to college. 125, 5'6". That's how tall I am. I like to weigh at 140. Around anywhere from 135, 140. I can weigh more. I don't know. 
I'm old. Old guys need to weigh more. But that's about about what I weighed when I was younger. If I was working out hard and only eating a normal amount, but was one round away from earning all American stand. Well, this guy's an outstanding athlete. There's, in the United States, he's already proven that at his weight, he's he's undefeated. Three times state champion, his high school career record. Oh, I guess he was. He lettered three. He was three times state champion. I thought he was four. And there was a three time state champion heavyweight when I was in the army, in my in the training at, at Basic. He was in our company at Basic. He was a uh, you know over like six foot tall heavyweight guy, and he was a uh, long guy. Catholic and um, but he you know he was just going in for like I think he was going in for communications specialist and in the army uh, so. he was at Fort Benning Georgia when I was there I don't remember his name but you know three times there was regional champions there's one guy wrestled 12 years. He said he never did all that good, but he had a second degree in judo. Miller. I know his last name was Miller. He was a combat medic. He wrestled all through all through school, you know, middle school, high school, and then college. And he had a second degree. 5'9 guy. Heavyweight, though. But I, there's just so many outstanding athletes involved with, uh, you know, either wrestling or, um, and then you got this YouTube guy. So he's on to university and he's already, he won the big 12 championship in the university. One round away from earning all American status, finished with the 31 to 7 overall record. Well, he's still doing good, isn't he? Uh, won the Big 12. He got three championships in high school. Six and zero as a freshman. Overall recruit in the class of 2021 and number one nationally at 120 pounds. Oh, so he's been re- okay. So he's been in state in. For a while now, so he was a Super 32 champion. Placed fifth at the Cadet Freestyle World Championships. I got fifth. He got fifth. Was a Super 32 champion. Did win that. Number one nationally at 120 pounds in 2021. Earned a record of six and zero as a freshman. Led three times in wrestling as a three-time state champ. Okay, so Steve O is the son of Steve and Becky Poland. My brother Caden, he blends a major in business administration. So, but he's very successful and very good at wrestling. Pointing this out because he's one example. I just had noticed him because he was when he was a kid years ago. I was amazed, entertained by his his YouTube video wrestling. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Back to Mike Tyson, right? So, here's this guy, Jake. In my opinion, you know, I mean, he, Mike, Mike was way, way retired, you know. He's senior citizen. He's master class athlete. He's not. He's not like an Olympic runner or something. He's a boxer. But you know, I mean, politically, he he politically, with with all you got all the cops, you got all the combat professionals, millions and hundred, you know, hundred thousand cops. And, FBI, all those combat people, and, and he's earned, 
you got millions of people boxing or whatever, that many thousands or hat box. Or you got all these people. It's their sport, you know. And there's a lot of politics because it's big money. That's prize money. That's big prize money. That's why they're doing it. You know, they love the sport. They love the sport, but but I mean, you know, the ones that earn a living at it or trying to earn it, they want that prize money. There's a lot of politics. I mean, you get, they're doing a com- combat sport, and you know, it's their sport. And there's a lot of politics. You know, if they're earning more than than soldiers and cops at a combat sport, you think it's got to be something. I mean, people got to want it. And this guy, how he's cashing in on it. He's even got betting businesses for on betting on their their fights, and he's bribing. Mike, he's got who? Where? Who is he? Did he's a YouTuber? Sure, I mean, but you know, first off, he call he goes out, and these guys are mixed martial artists. You know, I learned that I mix learn mixed martial arts. I didn't want to be a sports fighter. Uh, well, I, I had I checked it out a little bit, but things didn't work out for me. To I even got started. But, um, you know, I learned the kickboxing. I learned the school wrestling. I learned some, some, some uh, kung fu from a ex-pimp's bodyguard, I bet. He learned six. He had seven black belts. He was uh, off parole in his 50s, like Mike's age. A little younger than Mike. Met him at a Chinatown little store bought him a sandwich he was just a, got fired because he spit on his manager because the manager was talking to him and spit came out of the manager's mouth so he spit back at him and the manager shut him out of all the labor halls but uh, he was a big dude you know he was like six foot 250 pounds or bigger i don't know you know but he, he was big and he said he used to bench 500 when he was uh, doing a bodyguard for the pimp Earned about six thousand a month, and um, he got busted for dealing dope. But he was off dope. He didn't do his dope when I was around him. And anyways, he, he wanted to work out, and so I, I I knew you know a bit about working out. He showed me how to break arms and fight a bigger guy, and. Um, fight more than one guy at a time he said that probably would help me most because I wasn't a very big guy so and he had been in jail so he said he knew what kind of moves you need to, to know to fight a bigger guy and he out of the kung fu he showed me what kung fu stuff really works not all of it said you know he would use so. and then I went to some new Muay Thai and some, some grappling so I wanted to Learn a little bit about keeping guys from choking me out. And then uh, the Muay Thai was just kind of offered with the grappling. So, and then I learned submission wrestling when I was in the, the Army. A little bit. You learned a little bit more about how bust bust arms. and So I, you know, I, I learned some mixed martial arts. I learned a little bit of ninjutsu. Guy showed me an, an arm busting ninjutsu move once. He was a his black belt ninjutsu. He was a Hell's Angel guy. He was working as a carney. Raised pit bulls, he said. I so I you know I I learned from different kinds of characters, man. But uh. I have no criminal record myself and I don't use dope I don't have a dope record I don't have a criminal record been a Christian all my life I don't know I don't like I'm not a real fan of California altogether I'm an Oregonian but you know uh, I'm here in New England now But I, I, here's my thoughts. Mike's gonna fight him. I don't know. 
I don't know. You know, Mike's at the master level. He's he's older than me. You know, I'm 52. I know I could go out and get fit. It's really easy because I've done it so many years. And you know, I'm looking. I read books and I'm watching these guys that are in their 80s and 90s, still going out and running. You know, the Hawaiian Ironman and stuff like that. And um, so I kind of focus. I met I met an Ironman runner. The Hawaii Ironman guy he completed the Ironman. He's running his second year. He was 67, and uh, so he's when he he retired. He when he's 66, he uh, he trained and completed the Ironman. He said he didn't do any running much before that, and all he was doing was going out. And he was the reason I found out. So I asked him, "Man, man, how are you staying so fit?" Because he was like 60s, you know, and he looked more fit than everybody else around me, around him, you know. And I know I was fit, but I hadn't trained to run an Ironman. And uh, it inspired me to go out and biathlon train. I did. You know, I'd go work eight hours, and then I'd go run it after that. <clears throat> and I ended up where I could run 15, 20 miles after eight hours of construction work, you know. So I was fit. And... Um, but he just told me, you know, he'd just go out and ride his bike five miles a day, and that's all he did for training, and he could do it. So it also got my mind on, you know, maybe I'm making this too hard stuff, too, because, you know, I'm young. I was like 29. I think I was 29. <clears throat> I met this 60-year-old dude who's more fit than everybody around him. 60, well, almost 70, 67. So, his name was John. That's how I remember. So this is, you know, Mike's at the master's age. You know, where guys, I don't know, what is this guy? This to him, you know, what is it, it you know, really uh, politically for him to do it to him? You know? I mean, all this guy's like a, a mock of everything. He's punking everybody. And uh, like in the WWF, maybe that seems okay. I don't know. I was just looking, see what happened to Don King because he was like promoter when Mike was was uh, fighting, and and Don King still promoting fights. You know, so we look back at Don because he it has something to do with this. Who's doing the the fighting for the MMA and stuff? You know, UFC, and you know, they Mike's African American. You know, I don't he. Predominantly, Don King stuff was, you know, African American and all that. And um, I don't know what they're doing, but you know, I I always was good with Mike. You know, when I grew up, you know, it was pretty undisputed. There was no lawsuits. Nobody was saying, "Hey, you know, we could get, we could have fought Mike and won and this that." You know, I mean, he probably would have fought some of them if they're. You know, was any doubt in the leaks? You know, Don's mind or anybody else? You know, what was going on? I don't know. So pretty undisputed, you know that that he was uh, who he was and fought as well the athlete he was and still is. I don't know. I mean, he's still that athlete. He's still. Mike and he's getting to it. Like I said, you know, you got these guys that are getting older. You're like you, you got Olympic runners and stuff. You know, they're still running in their nineties. Uh, Mike's he's out there. He's getting fit. I seen him smoking something. I don't know if he was just vaping or what, but that's not the best thing. I smoke every once in a while because stress. It probably has something to do with combat and wrestling. I even do. I don't know. I quit, and then I get back at it. I quit. I hopefully, I haven't quit enough, though, man. But I always run it off. I'm still healthy. I don't know. I haven't had any health problems. No, you're done, you know. Just aging stuff. Hair. Teeth. So I don't know what it is. I just, the reason, it just bothered me. It just bothers me a lot because it's like, you know, my channel, like I said, simplified politics stuff. So I got my mind focused on, you know, I'm thinking, you know, what is this? 
politic what is this guy doing to me you know how uh, it's a lot of money you know a, a hundred mil to tempt guy to throw a fight or whatever mike says so you know, that's like white collar crime right serious FBI stuff and US Marshal stuff whatever you know or federal court stuff Mike's off Mike's off probation parole whatever and he's clean on that part of it he, he did his time all that stuff politically you know justice wise he did his the justice was was done But, um, I don't know. You know, who's this guy to call? It's not that he doesn't. Well, let's call Mike out. Mike's Mike. Mike's totally not this guy. He's got a, my, a name about his bike. You know, when we had Mike Tyson, you don't get on a Nintendo. It's called Mike Tyson Punch Out. Everybody's playing Mike Tyson Punch Out when he's young, you know. This is what he's young and succeeding. He's got his the Nintendo game. Everybody's thinking Mike, you know, everybody was good with Mike, you know, he's that hard puncher guy. And, you know, white or not, you know, I mean, it didn't matter whatever race, you, you know, Mike was, you're playing Nintendo, that's Mike, you know, he's the punch out guy. And that's all I remember, you know. But this guy, this is Jake, I don't know, you know, I mean, I'm, we're supposed to be just older. And, Weird, you know. I don't know how many, how many guys, you know, out Mike the guy. But but besides that, the athletes. How many? Every athlete. That's why I'm showing the. I mean, there's not even a wrestling's not even a, a violent sport, but they're athletes. You know, and um, like I said, there's there's champions every year. There's 50 state champions every year, and it's been that way since. You know how many guys are living, you know, so we'll see 50, 60 years or 70 years. Who knows, you know, I mean, well, there's still, well, there's some 90 year olds that probably did champions still alive. Something, you know, whether it's boxing or wrestling, amateur level or Olympics or. Is they going to call everybody out? I don't know. It has to be big money, though. Mike, who had a lot of fame, that's what he's after. It's all a game. The big money guys, they're a game. But really, what he's doing to the sport is mocking and punking everybody out. And everybody could probably do a class action lawsuit. He's involved with boxing. Like, all the guys in the, in the military, how they, you know, it's, it's really disgrace. disgrace. It's, it's really to punk him out. And all the guys in the Olympics and everybody he's punking out. And um, so that's probably something that can be done, you know. What I mean, because they'd have to come up with a legal term exactly what it is he's doing to a, their their sport, but he's doing it. You know? All the coaches, they're living at it. They're training kids to, to learn it, bring them into the sport. 